At 30,000 feet, a lot of our clients come in with this, with this great bearing of I'm an alcoholic or I'm an addict. Sometimes, and usually the sometimes is more so than not, that there's a co-occurring uh, component involved, anxiety, depression, personality disorder, the like on the mental health side. And it's really important to, to understand that the two have a, a huge effect on the length and the quality of recovery. So dual diagnosis is when an individual has a diagnosis both of a substance use disorder and also a mental health disorder. You know, you have them both and it's like what came first, the chicken or the egg, we really don't know. I mean, there's a lot of speculation on that. You know, a lot of us usually pick up a drink or a drug because of a some kind of mental incapacity that we might have or suffer from. And we treat that all on an individual basis. It's individualized care to where you can't get past one or have a solution for one without having a solution for the other. So what we try to do here and what we try to implement is after a period of sobriety, then through individual therapy, then we can start to isolate the difference between my addiction issues and my um, other mental health disorders. A lot of times individuals come to us after detox and maybe um, their mental health symptoms might be a little bit more prominent than they've had in the past if, if they're self-medicating. So we really take that into consideration and to be able to target both. It's important to understand that at our base level, we very well might be have an anxious component. At base level, we might have a depressive component. At base level, we might have some form of a personality disorder. Those need to be articulated and, and taken care of through early recovery. Because if they're not, we have a tendency to go back to a past pathological behavior, which would be drug addiction or alcoholism. And, and to talk about that early in recovery, which is one of the groups I do, we talk specifically about co-occurring, and we, we isolate the difference between anxiety and depression, the difference between uh, you know, post-traumatic stress disorder and the components of stress that have, that have you know, some damaging effects on, on early recovery. And it's really important. Instead of just saying, you're an alcoholic, you're an addict, you get clean, you get sober, life is good, not so quick. You know, we have some other things that we have to take advantage of, so and that's what we do here.